Hey everybody, guess what today is? Today is Taco Tuesday. You know that already, right? Because of this hat that I'm wearing. You all have a fun story to tell you. And you know kids can say the wildest things, but often they're being honest and we need to listen to what kids say. Ooh, you all, this story is going, you're going to agree with what I'm saying when you hear this story. We have a special dedication. Today's story is going to Mamar or, and I pray that I'm saying this name correctly. This is one of our special subscribers, guys, that lives in Egypt. Very good friend of mine on YouTube. We met and we're always conversating back and forth. Mamar Or, I hope that you enjoy this story. Please tell your baby that this dedication is for, for you. Are you ready to get into this? I am. Hey, did you tell yourself that you were the greatest today? Please say it. Miss V wants to hear you say, I am the greatest. You do it. I know you did. Mamar Or, I hope you're listening. Here we go. The Emperor's New Clothes. Once upon a time, there lived an emperor who really loved clothes. He would strut around his palace in different outfits day and night. There were mirrors in every room so he could admire his reflection as he passed by. The emperor had outfits for the morning and different outfits for the afternoon and extra special outfits for the evening made from the most expensive cloth and sewn with pure gold thread. Wow! That's special! In fact, the emperor had so many clothes that he often didn't know what to wear. One day, two wicked men visited the palace. They knew all about the emperor's love of clothes. Your Highness, we are weavers, they said. But we can do something that no other weavers can do. We can make magic clothes. These clothes will be very special because only the clever people can see it. The emperor was so impressed, I would like you to make me a suit so I could wear these clothes, he said. Of course, your highness, it would be an honor, said the first weaver. Sire, we will need lots of gold thread, said the second weaver. You shall have all the gold thread you need, replied the emperor. He turned to one of his servants. Please show these fine gentlemen to the royal storeroom. <gasps> uh oh, uh oh, guys. The two men had never seen so much gold thread. Laughing and clapping their hands with glee, they filled their bags and left the bag. They left. Well, didn't they promise to make the emperor magic clothes? Let's see what happened, guys. A few days later, the emperor called for one of his ministers. Go and find out how the weavers are getting along, he ordered impatiently. I need something new to wear. The minister went off to the weaver's workshop. There he found the two weavers sitting in front of a loom, busy at work. The minister rubbed his eyes and he couldn't see any cloth on the loom. That's strange, he thought. 
not wanting to appear foolish, he smiled at the weavers. The cloth is looking wonderful. When will the emperor's suit be ready, he asked. Soon, soon, replied the first weaver. But we will need more gold thread to complete the suit, said the second weaver. The minister hurried back to the emperor. As soon as he had gone, the weavers roared in laughter. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is priceless. What a foolish man. Back at the palace, the minister bowed before the emperor. Not wishing to be called a fool, he said, sire, I have never seen a cloth more beautiful. The weavers need more gold thread to finish your suit. Well, send more over then, said the emperor. And for a whole week, the weavers pretended to cut and sew the magic cloth to make a new suit. At last, they returned to the palace, proudly pretending to carry the cloth. The emperor was very excited and handed the weavers a bag of gold coins to pay for the outfit. He took off his clothes and the weavers fussed around him, pretending to smooth and adjust the suit. It fits you perfectly, they cried. The emperor looked in the mirror He couldn't see any clothes, but not wanting to appear foolish, he said, it's wonderful. As soon as the two men had left the palace, they doubled up with laughter. Their cunning plan had worked. king gave them a bag of coins. They don't want to appear to be foolish. My goodness. News of the emperor's suit quickly spread throughout the kingdom. Everyone was sure they would be able to see the magic cloth. The vain emperor sent out a royal announcement. He would lead a grand procession through the city wearing his new suit. When the great day arrived, the emperor sent for the two weavers to help him get dressed. Ah, your highness, you do look wonderful, they cried. Yes, sire, truly splendid, agreed the emperor's ministers. No matter how hard he looked, the emperor still could not see any clothes. What in the world? I can't be more of a fool than my ministers, he thought. And they can all see the suit? So he smiled at the weavers and he thanked them once again. People had gathered in the streets to catch a glimpse of the emperor as the procession passed by. Finally, the emperor appeared riding on a fine white horse. Nervous whispers rippled through the crowd. No one wanted to appear foolish, so at last, a timid voice called out. The emperor's new clothes are magnificent. Suddenly, everyone started talking and shouting at once. How stylish, smart and fashionable. The emperor smiled as he trotted along, feeling very pleased with himself. Then, a small boy 
and his sister pushed through the front of the crowd. They started to point and giggle. Look, they cried. The emperor has no clothes on. Suddenly, everyone knew that it was true. Out of the mouth of babes. Before long, the laughter had spread through the crowd. The emperor turned bright red. Oh, that many was embarrassed. What a fool I am, he gasped. How could I have been so silly and vain? He looked around for the two weavers, but of course, they were nowhere to be seen. Filled with shame, the emperor made his way back to the palace to get dressed. I will never be so vain about my clothes again, said the emperor to his minister. He was true to his word, and he was much happier as an emperor from that day on. The end. Look at the emperor right there. He's riding on the horse and he's looking so proud that he has on his new magic clothes and he doesn't have anything on. Oh my goodness. It's not good to be proud and vain, but the little kid told him. They told him the emperor has no clothes on. Good grief. You guys, what you think about this story? Would you let Miss V know? Did you enjoy this or have you heard this before? I love this story. I remember this story when I was a little girl. Please like, share, and subscribe. Lamar, I hope you enjoyed this story. Let Miss V know. I'm sending you a hug. And I'll see you soon. Peace and love.